you know, everyone's got their own old school. I just want to say first, it's got nothing to do with age. You can be like 19 now, and you know, your, your old school might be Kendrick Lamar and used to come. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It just so happens mine goes back 35 years. Hip hop music always was the, was the source of education for me. Uh, hip hop music was the only thing that ever opened my eyes to perhaps um, a different alternative view of Australia. The way I see it is like if we're documenting human experience, I need to see everything. But I need to see it from a place where I'm not necessarily being influenced. Hip hop taught me everything about English. History, that all spawned from hip hop, not from schooling. I just wanted to be known as a dope, not necessarily a rapper, but just a dope artist, pretty much. We don't play rap crap. I mean, that's what we're up against. That's how it was. When we got into it, there was no concept of like ever being in a position where we could earn money from it. Triple J is not this evil, all controlling entity that has the, has, you know, that sits there and decides, oh, we're going to make or break artists. Sampa the Great did her second ever show standing right here. It was incredible. Let me get that. You know, nobody's telling them about what's happening. The first thing you get is a way to assimilate. This is how you say, um, thongs. <laughs> this is how you say Max. It's like, this is what you're teaching me about a country. A list of how people say things. You're not teaching me about the country. When I first came out and released music, there were a couple of blogs and things like that that would write up and just sort of call me a rapper. But, you know, I'm not sure if that was because of the music I was doing or if it was because of the colour of my skin. You know, Australian hip-hop is not racist. Australia is racist. And Australian hip-hop is just Australian. Hip-hop doesn't make you black. A culture can't make you black. You black because of your blood or your ancestors of whatever happened. You know, at that point, I guess I began to really deconstruct everything that the so-called dominant paradigm had had placed upon us. Recovery is not easy. You know, I've been in and out of three different rehabs. You know, I've been in and out of different psych wards, in and out of prison, in and out of juvenile detention before I kind of got sick of myself, you know? No one really knew what happened when I had that little overdose and the tour got cancelled and stuff like that. No one knew why and no one knew what happened. Uh, burn down the parliament was taken literally and there were calls made and uh, papers thrown around, I think. To be able to get up and do this shit every day is like, it's a blessing, man. It's like... It know. straight up saved our life. Mm -hmm. So I've got a story that you've never heard about that day. <laughs> Bye. Where was I? 